Hello guys, I am Flash Isaac and today I'll be taking you through surface tension. Surface tension is simply the property of a liquid that allows it to resist external force. It is as a result of coercive force. Coercive force or cohesion is the force of attraction between molecules of the same substance. So the force of attraction holding water sometimes creates a surface tension, making it behave as if it is covered. If you give it a, some liquid or water, steel water or liquid, when you look at it sometimes, it behaves as if it is covered by elastic skin. That phenomenon is referred to as surface tension. Surface tension is simply the force per unit length acting on either side of a liquid at rest. So surface tension is equals force over 2L. Now look at something. If you carefully place a needle on top of water, the needle begins to float. It won't sink inside. Why? This is as a result of the surface tension of water. So it makes it behave as if it's covered by a skin to protect it. Look at insects. Insects, they can walk on top of water without floating. This is because of the surface tension of water. So in summary, surface tension of water is a phenomenon that exists in water or in liquid, in liquid generally, making it behave as if it is covered by an elastic skin. So to calculate surface tension, it is simply force over 2L. So let's see an example of question that can come under surface tension. Now, this is a typical uh, question under surface tension. But before we go into this question, something else. Surface tension is a vector quantity. Vector quantities are quantities that have magnitude and direction. So while describing surface tension, we don't always only describe the size or the magnitude. Direction is taken into consideration. Noting that, remember, a phenomenon you can see surface tension is insert moving on top of water or needle placed on top of water. We know that needle is denser than water, yet it flows on top of water. So it's because of that a covering property of water. This question says, calculate the force required to lift a needle. Force is the question. So F is equals question. Needle of 4 cm long. So uh, that is the length. The length is equals 4 cm, which is equals 0.04 m. Of the surface of water, if the surface tension of water is, so the surface tension of water is equals 7.3 times 10 to the power of minus 2 newton per meter. So given this, we have all we need to calculate surface tension. Remember, surface tension is simply force over 2L because it's acting on either side of the thing. Given this, we have surface tension. We have length. We are looking for force. We therefore make the force subject formula. So force is therefore equals surface tension times 2 times L, which is equals surface tension is 7.3 times 10 to the power of minus 2 times 2 times length, which is uh, 0 0.04. That is it on surface tension. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos. Catch you on the next one.